Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at zone-based firewalls. We're going to be taking a look here at how you would use zone-based firewalls and also how to configure them, how to verify the configuration of them, and just going to show you here a basic scenario in which to apply a zone-based firewall. Uh, some of the new, some of the features here with zone-based firewalls are that uh, they're with zone-based firewall firewalls. We're actually setting up policies between uh, different zones and not the interfaces themselves. So what we're going to see is that we're going to be using uh, class maps and policy maps. We're going to be using the you know Cisco MQC uh, module for you know uh, for setting this up to work properly. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use router 2 as the implementing the zone based firewall configuration on it. Router 2's I guess what I could do here is uh, take a look. Router 2 the fast Ethernet 0, 0 is going to router 1 and the fast Ethernet 0, 1 is going to router 3 here. So what we're going to see with zone based firewalls is that the configuration can be pretty overwhelming and intimidating but when we break it down into uh, sections and actually see what we're actually doing here with zone based firewall configuration what we're going to see is that it's it's not all that bad. Now it needs to be noted here with zone based firewalls that by default if there is not a policy set up between two different zones and in this case we're gonna have an outside zone and an inside zone um, by by default if there is no policy between these two zones no traffic will be permitted to to cross so all traffic is pretty much denied by default here what we'll see with our zone based firewall and like I was saying before here the configuration of the zone based firewall is pretty intense uh, there's a lot of steps here that we gotta follow and um, some of the steps are you know first we have to identify like we already did here you know the interfaces and what zone the interface is going to be in so in this case the inside zone uh, it's going to be applied to our fast Ethernet 0, 0 interface on router 2. Outside will be fast Ethernet 0, 1. Um, we also have to be aware of the traffic flow. You know, how is the traffic going to flow between the zones? And we're also going to be dealing with a, um, a feature called a zone pair. And we're going to be taking a look here at how to configure, you know, the zone pair. And what the zone pair is going to do is you're pretty much pairing up your different zones, you know, in the traffic. So in this case, we're going to set up a zone pair, you know, for, um, you know, inside to outside and then outside to inside. So we'll get into that in a minute. Um, or in, what we're also going to have to set up here is, uh, you know, we're going to, basically determine what traffic we want to either permit or deny within uh, class maps and you know you know if we're dealing with class maps we're going to be also dealing with policy maps because the class map is going to define what traffic we want to uh, basically classify our mark and then the policy map is actually going to say okay now that you have these different classes of 
you know, traffic, say you want to permit a certain IP subnet range, or you want to permit, you know, telnet traffic or web traffic, uh, the policy map is going to um, to actually be giving you um, the statement on what you want to do with that traffic once you've actually, you know, identified it. So, you know, with policy maps, of course, we know there's a lot of things here. We can, you know, perform inspection on, you know, the different classes. We can, you know, um, we can do policing, shaping of traffic. Um, so what we're going to find here with our zone-based firewall configuration is that we're going to be using class maps to define our traffic then we're going to be associating the class maps within the policy maps and that's going to be used to actually uh, tell us to what we actually want to do with the different classes of traffic and then of course the last thing we're going to do is we're going to um, if you've worked with you know quality of service before you know that the policy maps once you have defined your policy map you actually have to you know apply it to an interface but in this case in um, what we're gonna do in this case is we're gonna actually apply our policy maps to our zone pair within you know the um, the zone based firewall here so Again, it sounds like a, a heck of a lot of stuff to do. Uh, hopefully I can break it down for us here so that we can understand exactly what's going on and it won't be too easy to, to figure out. So what I'm gonna be doing here is I'm gonna be running RIP version two across you know, all of these routers. Uh, let's give uh, router three a loop back here. Let's get loop back zero. Uh, 3.3.3.3 .3 .3 .3, uh, slash 24 for router 3 and then what we're going to see here is that we're going to have a um, a loop back on router 1 which is well let's just make it easy in this case we'll give it an easy uh, identifier here so we can identify it easily within our configuration set and so what we're going to be seeing is we're going to do a couple of different policies here between you know the letting the outside traffic uh, traverse to the inside network and you know vice versa here letting traffic return back to the outside and we're going to be using the zone based firewall configuration set here to do this uh, it's a relatively new feature um, not sure when it was actually uh, founded uh, I'm guessing probably about five maybe five years ago currently it's 2010 so so um, what we're gonna find too is you know with the different zones is that we have rules that we have to go by and these rules are pretty straightforward um, and these basic rules are like in this case we have you know um, we have you know the inside zone and the outside zone However, if these interfaces like faster than at 00 and 01 aren't defined yet within our zone based firewall configuration on router 2, uh, traffic will flow between these two interfaces uh, with no problems. However, say we put faster than at 01 into a zone and faster than at 00 is not in a zone, well, then there will never be uh, traffic will not be able to pass from a interface that's not in a zone and an interface that is within a zone and then our last uh, our last thing here that we can do is have both of these areas in a zone and say we have you know our inside zone 
here is FESUNIT00 and our outside zone is applied to FESUNIT01.